So if they're not doing well, how are they going to do well and do a good job for the rest of us out there when we need them? They need to be on top of their game. Every day our first responders meet people who are having the worst days of their lives. It's not always easy to know exactly how to help, but today they got a little closer. Thanks for joining us at 530. I'm Andrew Kinsey and I'm Brittany Bailey and for Yolanda tonight. Well, that help in learning how to help was all thanks to some powerful voices. Up to that point, I internalized every emotion I ever had and never dealt with it and just move on. And, and that's just what I did my whole life. And on that day, March 11, 2005, I, I wasn't able to get past out of my head. It was the first day I literally completely lost hope. And, you know, unfortunately, I drove myself to the Golden Gate Bridge. Well, that led to this moment when Kevin Berthia was on the precipice between life and death. He didn't meet his fate that day, thanks to the help of now retired Sergeant Kevin Briggs. Now, the two men wouldn't meet again until years later, but now they are sharing their stories together to help others. He met me on the worst day of my life. We come from two different backgrounds. He didn't at, at no point did he have to be what he was for me, but he still did that. And I think that our story is a story that shows that things can change. Like we can bridge this gap between civilian and law enforcement. We can do it, but it takes, you know, accountability on both ends. By talking about this, bringing it out in the open with as many people as we can, um, not only are we going to help other people, but we're going to help our own, so to speak. The reimagining policing, we're talking about better ways to co-respond to first and, and mental crisis. So we just want to better give the tools to our, our first responders to how to better respond to families and people who are experiencing crisis and get them the help they need and listen to help uh, plug them in where they don't, they don't take drastic measures against their lives. This, this training is quite timely because September is Suicide Prevention Month and it's needed now more than ever. Get this, in 2020 alone, Columbus police responded to more than 22,000 mental health related calls.